very important Bible code, Torah code, whatever you call it, teaching us what is the source of the conflict, struggle, whatever you call it, between Israel and the Iranian. What they want. So this table will teach you, will show you exactly what they want. So, what really they want? Yes, this is most important. So, you can see this table, by the way, very highly statistic. 4.5 to 10,000 is what Professor Harry did. And amazingly, this table comes in one chapter, Genesis, you can see, which is one, and in really few chapters. So what you have here, the most important is to teach us what is the root, what is the source of all these problems, and not politics, it's Islam. You can see in yellow Islam, many million in the Old Torah. In the Old Torah, you have only twice Islam in the skip of two letters. It comes here, right? And then it comes, you can see it coming with the letters of the word atomic. Yeah, you can see atomic, unbelievable. Atomic. Why? Because this is what Iran wants. Iran wants to become atomic. Uh, say it, yeah. As then they can tell the world, look, <laughs> we are very powerful, you know. And we believe this is our belief. Our belief is that the world must believe in God, yeah, but the God of the Shias, like the Shias teach us, this is what they say, and the old world have to follow it. Those who are not <laughs> are called the atheists, yeah, or even worse, yeah. They deserve death. Interesting, this is what they believe in. So you can see it. The, the enemy of Israel, oppresses of Israel. And why? Because the, <laughs> Israel religion, faith in God is different for what they, they believe that they are descendants of Abraham and they are supposed to carry out, to bring to the world the belief, the faith in God. And Israel are uh, doing things which is <laughs> feel not right. And they deserve this, unbelievable. So this is what you see, Iran with Islam, atomic, because it goes together, because the feel in order to bring the face of Islam is by being very, very strong atomic nation. The Oyev of Israel, Iran, they have a great hatred, Sarov, hatred, oppression to Israel. And this is really the root. No, what we are doing. How can we solve this problem? No, how we can solve it? What is the purpose of Jews? So, in Sinai, God told them, Mam your kingdom of priests, and you should teach the world about God. This is your purpose, yeah. This is why you go to the Torah in Sinai. And <laughs> Gentiles also are supposed to follow the seven laws of Noah, which is part of the Torah, and this is the purpose of Jews, to teach the world about God. Yeah, and this, if they don't do it, so the Islam <laughs> is doing it. What we can do, yeah, this is a fact, right? So the only way this was written in, in books, I mean, the Kabbalistic books and the very important books, says that when Israel don't fulfill their destiny, their goal in life, like 
bringing the face of God to the whole world, then the others are doing it. Who are those? <laughs> Iranian and unfortunately using Hamas and using the Hezbollah to kill Jews, yeah, to eradicate them, eliminate from the world because they feel they are really disturbing bringing the faith of God to the world, which is the purpose of creation, as they believe, yeah. And this small table shows you clearly that all this quarrel with Jews, all what the Iranians are doing is because they believe in the Islam, believe in God, monotheism, and this is why they sorrow, this is why they hate the Jews, and this is why they want to make atomic things.